Everyone knows how prevalent anti 2 slgbtq bullying in schools has been in the past, but it doesn't have to be that way. Laws that mandate clear instructions and consequences to shut down bullying is what protecting children really looks like. In 2011, Ontario passed the Accepting Schools Act. Sadly, this change came after the suicide of a boy named Jamie Hubley, who had been the target of extreme homophobic bullying. In the next few years, the Yukon, Manitoba, Newfoundland and New Brunswick followed. In more recent years, BC and the Northwest Territories also modernized their student protection laws. Legal changes are important because they apply to entire provinces and they're enforceable in court. Policies can change from administration to administration, but laws must be observed. Guidelines or policies are carried out by school boards. For example, a teacher could get in trouble with their school board for not following a board policy, but that policy wouldn't apply province-wide the way a law would. That doesn't mean other efforts and resources aren't still good to have. Uh, some provinces have teaching resources like the Choices graphic novel released in 2012 in Nunavut that includes a story about a teen coming to terms with being gay from an Indigenous perspective. The Elementary Teachers Federation of Ontario has an awesome training resource for teachers called Inclusive School Place Starts Here. They also have a great 2SLGBTQ plus education history timeline they made in 2016 in collaboration with the archives which inspired this video series. Inclusive curriculum has been a hot topic in Ontario and across the country, and anti-sex ed movements have been the blueprint for a lot of the far-right hate activity we've seen related to Canadian schools recently. We'll get into some of that in our next video, so stay tuned.